Hello again. Now, the music of Smokey saw me through my youth with hits like Living Next Door to Alice, If You Think You Know How to Love Me, Oh Carol, Lay Back in the Arms of Someone and I'll Meet You at Midnight. The front man with the Smokey voice was Chris Norman, who left the band in the 1980s and a successful solo career followed. His first single, Midnight Lady, became a massive hit throughout Europe and many more followed. And I'm delighted Chris is joining me this evening. So let's have a reminder of some of those hits. Chris, when I heard you were coming on the programme, I was so excited. That voice is iconic. Congratulations. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Thank <laughs> you very much. It's lovely to be here. Because so many people just love the music of Smokey. That must have been a really amazing time to be in the music industry when you started. Yeah, I mean, we started um, in the 60s, believe it or not, me and Alan Silson, who was the guitar player from Smokey went to school together along with Terry, but me and Alan started the group originally. And uh, so we got, we got in at the beginning of this sort of whole thing, you know, in a way. And then we went professional in 68. Um, took us a while, but eventually we had our first hit in 1975, which was called If You Think You Know How To Love Me. Oh, you remember was, that one? Oh, I do indeed. <clears throat> and, uh, and that took us, you know, that, that started it all. And then we traveled the world. and. It was like a big adventure, you know. Because I, I know with bands like you know, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles, they had their rivalry. I mean, the bands that were around you at the time, was there sort of a rivalry or was there a camaraderie, the likes of you know, Slade and Mudd and Joanny Waddy and that one? Well, lot? you know, I mean, it depends on who it was. You were friends with some and you were just, yeah. in, you know, not in terms with others. Um, Mudd were a great bunch of guys. We, Les we, Gray was an amazing guy. We hung out with them quite a bit. Shawadi Waddy, we yeah. did. They were great guys. So yeah, all those people, Susie Quattro, I made oh. a record with later on, and uh, all those guys, you know, um, Sweet. Yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing. Fantastic. You know? I mean, because the, the, if you go back into the archives, because people just think, oh, that was pop music. But those were brilliantly written songs as well that you were all performing at the time <clears> too. And working with Susie must have been an absolute delight. She's been on my programme a few times. Has she? Yes, yeah, she's yeah, a lovely I, lady. Well, I mean, you know, Susie and I, we, we knew each other from about 1974 because we were both on the same record label. So um, we saw each other all the time, you know, going into rack records to see Mickey Most or whatever. Yeah. And he'd go, oh, Susie, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and that came, that, that thing with me doing a, a duet with her was just by accident because we, we were getting, Smokey were getting an award in Germany and she was in Germany with Mike Chapman who was both our producers and she was doing an album. So they came to see us. And then there was an after show party, of course, and uh, in the corner was some band equipment. So we're all getting up and singing, you know, and it was just that me and Susie got up and sang, I think, Long Tall Sally or something, some old rock and roll song. Yeah. And Mike, who was there, Mike Chapman said, you know, you two look great together. We should do a song. And so I stayed in Germany, went into the studio on their session and we recorded Stumbling In and another song. And then I went back to Smokey, we went on tour and everything, and then a few months later it came out. Because your voice is married so beautifully on yeah, that Yeah, and track. it was so it was quick. Fantastic, you know, we did yeah. it. We, I think we, we spent um, two days, went in, put the tracks down, you know, I played uh -huh. acoustic, everybody played the stuff with her band. <clears throat> and then we spent, I don't know, an hour or so doing the vocal round one microphone. Uh -huh. None of this mailing it <laughs> off like we do now. <laughs> round one microphone, me and Susie standing singing our parts. Uh -huh. Um, and the vocal was done in, in no time. And well, it was, yeah, it was you great. mentioned Mike Chapman, and it comes full circle because your new album has been produced by him. Well, not this one. This I've got one out now called Rediscovered Love okay. Songs, which is a covers album with of all my favourite yeah. love songs over the years. But the one before was called Just a Man, yeah. uh, which I recorded in two nine, 2019, just before the, Everything the lockdown. Everything went, yeah. yes. Um, and we recorded that, and that was the first time I'd worked with Mike Chapman for like 40-odd years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a blast, you I know. Bet. I mean, we went in the studio in London and just got a bunch of musicians in, and it was just like the old days. Let's go, you know. And it was like take it. <laughs> so there was none of this kind of like, well, we'll do that bit later, and we'll do it. it was, we recorded it like as we as we were playing it, you know. So it was well, fantastic. You're going to be in the Waterfront <coughs> Hall on the 17th, and obviously people are, are dying to see you. So what can the audience expect from, from Chris Well, Lyle? I'm doing the, the three shows together, one in Dublin at um, uh, Vicar Street, one at Waterfront, and one in Monaghan. Uh -huh. at the, what's the one Monaghan. in Monaghan? Monaghan. 
just Monaghan. Yeah, Monaghan. Sorry. Mon- well done. Excuse yeah. me. Where yeah, am yeah, I? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, and um, so we'll be doing, um, I've got like a five piece band, six including me, and a big production, you know, with all the business. And um, we'll be doing a load of smoky songs. We'll be doing some of these songs from the new album you just saw. Um, a couple of ones that are kind of favourites now for me to do from over the years. But we do all those, you know, yeah. meet at midnight, live next door to Alice, oh, don't play a rock and roll to me. I'm there. I do them all. I'm there. Come along. I'm have a great, there. You'll have a great <laughs> night. We, we have a ball, really. And you obviously still love it. I, I, well, I enjoy it more than I ever did, Yeah. to be honest, because when you're like in your 20s and that, it's all kind of new and bit nerve-wracking. And then you kind of get used to it with experience and everything. So now I've got the best of both worlds. I, I go on and I feel comfortable. And you, can pick, you get to an age where you, you just want the people around you that you want around you. That's right. Well, I've had my band and crew now, most of my band have been with me for about 20 years. Uh-huh. So we're like a family, you know, we uh-huh. go on the road and we need to be. Because uh-huh. when you're in each other's company all the time, if you're on tour and stuff, you need to know the people and feel comfortable. You don't want any egos flying no, around. No, 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 <clears throat> we, we don't do egos. Well, listen, Chris, it's an absolute pleasure to see you here back in Belfast because I know you've been coming here for many, many years. Thank you so much indeed. You're going to be in the Waterfront Hall on Friday the 17th and uh, everybody is so looking forward to seeing you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us this evening. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, any motorbike enthusiast will be gearing up for the Northern Ireland.